Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final match between the Blizzard-sponsored Starfeeder.com 2 vs. 2 fansite tournament. And uh, representing we have StarCraftStrategy.pl and uh, Reps.ru, so the Polish versus the Russians. Uh, in rain Vodkos, Mosk, and Atomic. Good friends uh, seeing here once again. So uh, 12 o'clock position, let me actually look, Vodkos. So we got Vodkos, in rain Mosk, and Atomic. So uh, cross positions here, we'll see if that plays a factor. This is Lost Temple. So uh, not Python, in fact. In fact, I'll just show you the entire thing so you can see. See, it's Lost Temple, not in fact. So keep in mind, island expansions, not ramp expansions, and uh, only single mineral patches along the side. So uh, whoever gets those expansions early can oftentimes uh, be more victorious, etc., etc. Looks like both overlords floating to uh, respective Protoss opponents' bases uh, in the meantime. Now uh, let me get down to business. I've got a couple. Uh, I've gotten a lot of PM. Well, first of all, the two major PMs I'm getting these days are first are one. Uh, I'm totally new at StarCraft, and after watching your videos, I want to get back into it. Uh, can you give me tips, things like that? Uh, generally, no. I'm actually I haven't been playing a lot lately, and when I did play, it was a long time ago. If you really, really, really want to learn and get really good at the game and things like that, again, you should check out Combat. Uh, Gravidian, uh, Chill has some stuff on Team Liquid. Uh, I think it's all linked at sc2gg.com, and specifically if you go to sc2gg.com, you go to the IRC chat and you get on the Hamachi uh, server thing, there's people there that are in your exact same position. They're newer players who are trying to learn the game. Wow, we're seeing a nine pool actually here from Inrain. Uh, see if that works out for him. Looks like a, a gateway going, a sort of blockade. Uh, interesting blockade positions. I'm not used to seeing this sort of, usually you see the pylon further up front, uh, but a pylon and a gateway down an interesting position for Mosk in the meantime. <clears throat> it looks like we're going to see, uh, it looks like a 12th pool in the meantime for Atomic, and Atomic getting his gas down, so we're going for more of a speedling attack. Two gateways down in the meantime for Vodkos, so it looks like Vodkos is planning on rushing some zealots. So uh, we might see a, an also gas going down here for in rain. Anyway, uh, but yeah, if you go there, there's a bunch of people who are also new at playing and who are also trying to learn the game, and also people who are specifically setting across time to teach other people. Uh, Rudian's there, um, Cyreaver, who's another commentator on YouTube, go check him out. Uh, Two gates also here from Mosk. And uh, yeah, just all sorts of, I mean, really, really, they're there to help, they're there to teach, they're there to learn, uh, all those things combined. It looks like a probe scout actually coming in in the meantime, uh, trying to harass some drones. Uh, anyway, and additionally, uh, as far as the MS, the second PMs I'm getting a lot of, it's like, where's the MSL OSL action? First of all, there's a lot of other commentators that are covering that right now. Rise, uh, Greth even, Greth SC, uh, usually does comedy stuff, but trying his hand at it. And uh, lots of other things. Six slings out in the meantime. Uh, Zealot just chilling on the front door in the meantime. It looks like we had a nice little. I, I'm surprised. I didn't realize we actually got to see the key indicators that were pointing things out. Uh, Zerglings starting to push. We'll see if they decide to push to the north. Because again, there's only a single Zealot block here in the meantime. Looks like more Zerglings from. And this is an interesting configuration here. We've got Zealots coming off the ramp. The ramp is, is only blocked by a single Zealot on both Protosses. Uh, looks like two zealot, a Zealot and a probe heading up to the north. Two Zealots. Sorry, three Zealots now in position at the north. Uh, a couple Zerglings coming across. Anyway, but uh, yeah, go check out all of them at sc2gg.com, and of course, check out Tasteless at, Gom at uh, gsi.gomtv.com. Uh, really, a couple of the goals I had when I started doing this was, hey, let's get more people playing StarCraft again, uh, and that's starting to happen, and let's get them help, sc2gg.com. Nice little, uh, I need to actually pay attention to the game here. So big attack pushing in, so three Zealots, uh, three Marines. Looks like help is coming in the meantime across the map with a couple Zealots. Uh, on the opposite side, let's see, it looks like a sunken colony is already down across the gas line. It's going to delay some of the gas, though, unfortunately, for Atomic. So now we've got three Zealots actually blo uh, blocking the ramp that way. Uh, more Zerglings starting to push out from in rain. In rain. Uh, and it looks like a couple Zealots actually engaging mid side. A couple uh, the Zerglings trying to break the ramp. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to do so. So currently, it looks like Atomic is, uh, is contained, and the Zerglings are out in the field trying to deal with the Zealots here in the middle of the field. And four Zealots, let's see, uh, Overlord's still here. More Zealots being pumped. Looks like a third gateway going down. So Zealot dedication here. Um, from Mosk, and it looks like that that ramp was finally breached. More Zealots uh, and more Zerglings grouping up now, and it looks like this, uh, wow, a lot of units out, actually. Uh, but it looks like two more Zealots coming in, but they're separated, and you don't want to have situations like
like that where your units are separated because uh, you can get absolutely owned. So it looks like actually a Tomkin in a bit of trouble. He's trying to get his second hatchery down. Uh, looks like a forge as well as a simulator down in the meantime for Vodkos. So Vodkos looks like he's going to start, start to tech up. And against uh, a three zealot build, that could be really, I mean, if he gets a good amount of dragoons out, that could be harsh. Uh, Inrain in the meantime expanding, now feeling in a very dominant position. Feels like he's got Atomic uh, on the back foot. Doesn't feel like he's going to get pressure, I guess, from this uh, three zealot push. Still no gas in the meantime for Mosk. So Mosk just dedicating zealots, and that's going to be trouble here uh, in the long run game. Because once you and weapon one's upgrading as well. Because once you see uh, a cybernetics core, uh, if he decides to go cybernetics core or something like that, it's going to be big trouble. Uh, Zergling starting to push in. More Zergling starting to flood out and push in. It looks like just going to kill these zealots getting caught out in the open. And I know this just seems small, uh, but that can be really big later. And it looks like another Zergling incursion here. A huge amount of Zerglings uh, and Atomic trying to pull them out. This is the sort of matches I love. Comedy because there's just so much happening all over the place. More Zerglings flooding out. Let's see, we've got the gas down. Still no tech to layer in the meantime. Uh, still no tech to layer on the opposite side, so it looks like they just grabbed and they're not even mining gas anymore, so it looks like both sides dedicating to Zergling speed in the meantime. We got a grouping of zealots out here in the middle. Looks like six zealots. Uh, still a single cannon, whatever, blocking the front. Let's see if we see Cybernetics Core yet. Looks like Cybernetics Core is going down, but considering how late he put that down, I think he's going to go for more of a higher tech build. We'll see. Another engagement happening here. It looks like, uh, first of all, a lot of Zerglings again catching zealots out in the open, uh, just being wasted in move position, so they weren't even doing damage. Now they're. Oh, man, huge pincer. Uh, man, excellent, excellent maneuver. That was really good teamwork between for uh, for Starcraft Strategy.pl. Uh, really moving in between Vodkos and Inrain, just smushing those forces in, uh, just absolutely wiping that out. Third hatchery going down in the meantime. Looks like uh, Inrain in the meantime already has his hatchery up. We'll see if he starts mining here in a second. Way ahead in production, just doing a fantastic job, and it looks like they're starting to crash down on Atomic. Atomic, I don't think he has enough to really fight this off. He has these two sunken colonies, uh, but he, and canceling that hatchery, realizing there's no way I can hold this. Uh, so falling behind, definitely in production and otherwise. Let's see if we see, uh, yeah, Citadel of Adun has predicted, and also, and so my guess is it's Dark Templar you're going to see here in a second. And finally gas down as well as a cyber, uh, Cybernetics Core for, uh, and actually keep in mind this Overlord right here, it's not scouting any further in, so they're probably going to be taken off guard by this. Uh, maybe, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be up to them to kind of see it off. More, A lot of Zerglings being produced in the meantime by Atomic, getting a third sunken colony down because he's just essentially needed to. Huge grouping of Zerglings to the south just being a little bit defensive here. Single Dragoon produced to get rid of that Overlord before the uh, Templar Archives go down. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to spot anything out. Uh, it looks like, yeah, you saw that little command on screen. He really wanted to see that tech information to know what he needs to do. Let's see if he gets a Forge down. He's getting a Citadel of a, down, uh, a Dune down too. Keep in mind, he does not have... Wow, Zealots just slipping right through that defense. Uh, it looks like there's more Zealots, but I, am I, uh, let's see how close we are on Weapons 1. Uh, and Zergling's pushing in from behind, so this, this force is going to be taken out, but another stream of uh, Zergling's coming in uh, opposite side. Probe's coming off the line actually. I'm surprised. I don't think he needed to take the probes off the line, uh, but doing so anyway, and that's going to cost definitely uh, economically. Uh, it wasn't that many, uh, maybe, to worry about these Zerglings coming in from behind, but uh, just six zealots, and he's pulling, uh, and uh, look at that. He didn't even lose any zealots. It's a little bit of a miscue. I think panicking a little bit there. Uh, Templar Archives is going up. Another gateway going down. This is going to be huge, because uh, you can see there are no, there is no forge. There is nothing, no detection. He's upgrading zealot speed in the meantime. Uh, zealot speed almost done, and it uh, looks like weapons one or Already done. Armor one on its way. Zergling starting to push in an atomic space. Uh, I was actually waiting for that. Shifting in, just going to be doing a lot of damage. This hatchery right here, I don't think is covered. Uh, maybe by a single. It looks like uh, atomic is going to be able to hold this off. Uh, but losing a lot of drones in the meantime, as you can see, a lot of drones in the meantime, as you can see, and that's uh, ouch. Uh, so he fought that attack off, but he's only got four drones left. Looks like he did uh, about half damage there uh, to the hatchery. Doesn't really make a difference. Counterattack coming in now. Uh, from, and just, yeah, big zealot pouring out. And uh, fortunately, there's a sunken colony, a good amount of zerglings in the meantime, and also zealot reinforcements along with the dragoons pushing in. Let's see if the Dark Templar are loose yet. Uh, my, yeah, they're starting to be built right now. So fierce, fierce attack here. I really have to feel like uh, Starcraft Strategy, right? Uh, 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 <laughs> Starcraft Strategy. Peel really in a big advantageous position again because again, no detection here. Uh, ahead in tech, Dark Templar out. Let's see if there's any Dark Templar being produced. Yeah, uh, two Dark Templar being produced, but uh, quite a bit behind. Otherwise, uh, Starcraft Strategy. Peel armor one still going up. Weapons one uh, is up, but and still no weapons one as you can see for uh, reps.ru. In the meantime, yeah, Atomic just completely uh, thrashed. He's trying to get his economy back together. Only. 
has a handful of zerglings out the field. It looks like some zerglings pushing up now in the meantime. And yeah, and I think I think as soon as these Dark Templars start pushing, it looks like a photon cannon is going down. Uh, but it looks like there's going to be enough zealots in the meantime to kind of fight it off. Uh, a couple zerg and, and now it's starting to push up. Well, actually, it looks like the Dark Templar are headed for uh, because he sees that there's no overlords here. Uh, is interesting. Uh, is going to head actually for his zerg opponent. Uh, Atomic really, yeah, as you can see, he's trying to it was trying to block the ramp. Isn't going to be able to do so. This is absolutely devastating. So going for a zerg opponent, trying to produce some overlords probably. No, no overlords being produced. He doesn't realize it. Oh my goodness, he's going to lose all these drones. That's going to be it for Atomic at this point. These two Dark Templar uh, ripping up the front. And he's going to be able to take down these sunken colonies before and over, still no speed. Uh, in rain in the meantime, I missed that. They teched up. He has uh, mutalisks out in the field in the meantime. Yeah, has a large grouping of mutalisks. Moss quitting, Atomic quitting, realizing they're just too far behind technologically. Uh, just got caught off guard and just... Uh, that was excellent so macro management winning the game for starcraft strategy .pl. hope you guys enjoyed that once again if you want to learn the game go check out sc2gg.com get on irc uh things like that if you're wondering about other osl msl games i think ball trap has some up but you can check again those all out from the commentaries at sc2gg.com and otherwise yeah check out these two websites reps.ru if you happen to speak russian starcraft strategy .pl if you happen to speak polish thanks for listening special thanks to blizzard and lipton uh yeah thank you again for listening guys hope you enjoyed it